We talk a lot about D.C. culture on the news at 11. The changing, evolving face of this city is a big story and it deserves a deep look. And tonight, we're focusing on this with a group you couldn't miss over the weekend celebrating diversity and pride, the LGBTQ community. Here's John Henry. We do a lot of reporting here at WSA 9 about how our city is constantly changing. We've covered the topic through the lenses of race and wealth. Well, there's another perspective to examine, just how D.C.'s gay neighborhoods have changed over the years. And like with any subject, it all depends on who you ask. I'm a native Washingtonian, and I've always been in love with this place, DuPont Circle. Craig Howell is a gay rights activist and licensed tour guide. He says DuPont Circle has always been the center of gay culture in D.C. This beautiful area, uh, it's, it's going to stay the heart. In part because of its history. Howell was in the neighborhood when it welcomed some of the city's most historic gay bars and clubs. It was March of 1976, the first gay bar in DuPont Circle. Six months later, another, that was called Mr. P's. And six months later, September of 1976, the Paternity House opened right across the street from me. I thought I had died and gone to heaven. But he admits things have changed here. As the city passed more gay rights reforms, the LGBT community became more comfortable integrating other parts of the city. This isn't such a refuge anymore because we've been so successful with the, with the community as a whole uh, that we can live where we want to and we can go where we want to. There's really a diversity of neighborhoods in Washington, D.C. Uh, that have LGBT you know, life and culture. We met local LGBT historian Philip Clark in the city's Capitol Hill neighborhood, another D.C. community that used to be a center of gay culture. He says unlike other major cities, the district doesn't really have one gay neighborhood that the rest of the country can easily point to. D.C. certainly doesn't have as uh, well known a gay neighborhood as, say, Greenwich Village in New York City. Uh, or the Castro in San Francisco. He believes part of the reason the city's gay population has spread from DuPont Circle is not just because it feels it may be welcome elsewhere. Clark says another factor may be at play, a word Washingtonians know all too well, gentrification. Things have sort of moved, have moved east. Uh, I think following in part uh, the, uh, how expensive it is to live in certain neighborhoods. It's a topic that's been examined across the country. This study focused on Atlanta, finding that rising housing values there dispersed that city's LGBT population. You know, they created two societies, the haves and the have-nots. Ruby Corrado's lived in D.C. for 30 years. She's also the executive director of Casa Ruby, a local LGBT organization. Corrado says the same scenario with gentrification has played out in D.C. The leaders of this city had a plan which was to attract the best of the best from outs in the rest of the country. So they put a legal framework that made it very attractive for gay people to come to this city. But she said what happened was that poorer gay people ended up getting pushed out of neighborhoods like DuPont Circle, where they had lived and did business for years. As a result, those same natives spread all across the district. Many people continue to ask me do we need um, gay organizations? Do we need gay bars? Do we need a gay neighborhood? And the reason, is, yes, we do. Corrado believes without a strong, easy to recognize gay neighborhood, DC has lost an identifiable safe space for members of the LGBT community. She points out while the city has LGBT friendly laws in the books, not every part of it is friendly. You can marry the man or the woman of your dreams, but you can't walk down the street holding hands. And we start with breaking news on a violent assault caught on tape. Police say they are suspects in the beatings of two gay men on U Street. We still have people getting beat up, stopped in some of the gay, supposedly, you know, gay friendly areas. Craig Hall agrees that DC's laws need to be better enforced to keep the LGBT community safe. But he adds that he's not bothered by how things have changed either. It used to be only gays would go to gay bars and only straights would go to straight bars. Now there's, this is what we wanted. From DuPont Circle. We wanted to be everywhere. John Henry, WUSA 9.